Hi, I'm Sai, and this needs to change. Oh my god, I, I have been trying to fade this hair color out for like a while. It is uh, faded on my roots, my roots are grown in, it's still extremely purple throughout, and then the underneath where I had it green and yellow is faded to a nasty, nasty color. So yes, today's video is going to be another hair transformation. But it's really exciting because instead of showing you guys the process of me changing my hair color, today I'm going to be changing my hair style. I have been wanting to do a mullet for a minute, like a while. Um, and I figured now is a better time than any. Like, I might as well just do it. So today's video is basically just going to be me changing my hair color first. I want to just dye it a different color and get that sorted out before attempting to cut it into a mullet. I will go into more detail later and explain more um, about the hair cutting process when I get to that point. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cover my hair in coconut oil, I'm going to change the color, um, probably do some editing while that's happening, and then I will come back probably tomorrow and show you guys the new color, and then I will show you me cutting it and narrate that and everything, and I'm super, super excited. Let's go ahead and get a quick look at what's on my head right now. As you can see, the purple faded from my roots to the pink that was underneath it. Um, I did try to use a color remover and it basically did nothing. Like if it could all fade to this pink, that'd be great, but it won't. And then yeah, underneath is nasty. Next time you guys see me, hopefully this will be the color that I want it to be. And then we will snip snip, get on with the mullet. Hello, we are back, we are bleached, we are toned, but we are not dyed. I decided not to put color over my hair because as you might be able to tell, the green is still in my hair. The green just won't leave. And then the blue dye that I mixed with the red is like very pigmented. It's the one I had when I had blue ends that also didn't leave for months and months and months. And apparently it stained my hair blue, but the blonde and tone turned out beautiful in my opinion. Like, I'm kind of digging this color. I'm really not mad about it. I'm sweating already. I actually have hair cutting scissors and thinners, thinning shears, because my family ordered them when quarantine started so that I could cut everyone's hair. I have lots and lots of reference picks saved on Pinterest. So this is kind of the vibe that I'm trying to accomplish. Ideally, I would love for it to turn out looking like this, but I know that's probably not gonna happen. I used to cut my hair all the time when I was seen. I feel like this isn't really out of the zone of a seen haircut. It's gonna be very razory and layered and stuff. I'm gonna start with my bangs because even if I chicken out and decide I don't wanna mullet anymore, I haven't had bangs in a while. I grew them out. They grew out pretty long, like this bit of hair was up here <laughs> just a few months ago. So it's really, really grown out all the way. Um, some of it melted off yesterday in the bleaching, but it's been so long since I've had bangs, like cut bangs. Like it feels like, well, maybe, why did I yell the word bangs? <laughs> it's also really hard for me to have bangs successfully because I have a pretty significant widow's peak that really messes up with bangs. Hey, fellow widow's peak havers watching, let me know how you style your bangs successfully because I've had bangs like my whole life and I've never been able to figure it out. Okay, we are doing this. This is happening. Oh boy, I am nervous. I'm gonna start very, very small. Very small. This is the most professional YouTube channel to ever exist. Did you hear the noise my nose just made? I love <laughs> Definitely because my hair is straight and clean, like when I chop these, it will it will like split like this for sure. I brought my bang curler, but I know that that's not gonna help like that much. My hair's gonna feel so healthy again after this. Ah! <laughs> I look ridiculous! Cool. Then I'm gonna take, I think maybe this much on either side and I'm gonna save these, I think. So when I've saved, oh, that's such a look. I think I'm gonna pin up this top layer. Let's just go in. Oh, I should have also uh, disclaimed I am not a hairstylist. Oh my God, this literally looks like grass. I'm just gonna go in and do ye old 
razoring technique that I used to do in eighth grade. So a lot of times people will, from what I've seen, will take the sides and shave them. Um, I don't have that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my God, I worked so hard to grow my scene cut out. We're back. In my mind, I have this beautiful vision that when this grows out, it will be like this beautiful fluffy shag haircut. I hope. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Broad Mondo, look away. <laughs> so I think I am going to do this maneuver again. I'm gonna go and figure this out. And when I do, I will come back and show you guys what I've been doing and then so I don't waste more time. Goodbye. Okay, I kind of figured out the back. Now I'm just gonna keep doing what I basically was just doing with the back. Just decided that I just gotta go for it, you know? I can't be afraid because then nothing will get done. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this hair for so long, so I'm like honestly really excited about it now that I'm finally doing it because I'm finally gonna feel weird and like myself again. You just gotta go. You just gotta go in. It's like therapy. It's looking a little Willy Wonka-y. I have to be very careful. I should probably also address something really quick too. Um, this has nothing to do with hair. It has to do with my channel actually. But um, by the time this goes up, it'll probably be uh, pretty far into October. And my posting has uh, significantly gone down. And I know I was like really on a roll kind of for a little bit with my postings and like my September faves is either very late at this point or not up at all and will never go up <laughs> because I just have fallen into another little mental health rut. What else is new? So I've just been really, really struggling to get any kind of significant work done um, that I need to, and that includes editing my own videos. So it's like so frustrating because I have so many ideas and stuff that I genuinely want to make. And then my brain's like, no, <laughs> you can't, sorry. I apologize that that happens so frequently on here. Um, and yeah, there's like so much stuff that I want to post like when it drops, like reactions or stuff or whatever. But I just, I can't, like my, I filmed my apartment tour in June. June! <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. <gasps> I also want to say too, I actually cut an old cosplay wig um, into a mullet a while back to see what I would look like with it. And I really liked it on me and I can't remember how I cut it. Like I've technically already done this once. You'd think that I would be smooth sailing my dudes, but I'm not. I am crashing the boat. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I thought I had this down. There is hair everywhere. <laughs> okay, I am losing confidence. <laughs> I was so confident a minute ago. I think my trick is to just do it off camera because apparently I can figure stuff out better off camera. I'm going to go once again and I will be back. <laughs> Did you guys just see that? I just scratched myself right there like really hard.
minutes. Okay, my battery is dying, but look at this! It's definitely becoming the shape I want it to be more, and it's easier for me to find the pieces that just gotta go. So there's still some in the back that I want to get, and then I do want to fix around my ears. I want to make the parts above my ears a little shorter. I'm glad I saved these pieces. This really saves the look for me, I'm feeling. My friends are gonna freak out. I didn't even tell them I was doing this today, but they've all been pushing the Psy mullet agenda. This is the dream, you guys. I'm living the f dream right now. I will probably fix the back off camera because I, I haven't even really looked at the back. I don't know how bad it looks. All right, I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you guys tomorrow with my final Mullet reveal. Good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> hey! It is the next day. So yes, this is the update. I'm still not in love with the back, um, but I've never really been amazing at doing the back of my own head. Yeah, this is it. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. I hated it last night and I was like, what have I done? But since putting on makeup and styling it more this morning and fixing it a bunch, um, I'm really happy with the outcome. Thank you guys for coming on this hair journey with me. I know that this was a little bit different format. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really, really helps me out. Oh, also really quick, I do wanna mention that um, I don't think I'm gonna post the September faves video this month because I'm just so behind on editing it and it wasn't that exciting anyway So hopefully I'll be back in October or maybe I will just wait until November and do like a fall favorites or December and post like a fall favorites I will keep you guys updated on that. I'm really really sorry I've just been really struggling with editing and stuff. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next video. 